Capsule Kingdom. I'm here and I'm doing this a video of my time capsule. The reason I'm doing it is just to give you guys a review on how it works. So time capsule is a combination of a um, wireless internet router and a backup drive combined into one. So let's take a look at it. I'm using my iPhone to record this. So anyways, on the front we have this this light. This, this light is either green or amber. Amber means it has a problem. Green means it's perfect. There's this drive I have right here, and I can attach this to make this drive network to my whole network that I made this from. Um, what else? We've got the, in the back, we've got a Ethernet port. Ethernet ports. A little other port. I'm not sure what that port is. The first one. Well, oh. anyways, we also have the USB port and the power port right there. And hard drives in here. This thing does get pretty warm. It's really nice. It's very helpful. 802.11n Wi-Fi. A no, B G N Wi-Fi. Combines into, like I said, combines the wireless networking and the hard drive in here into one. This comes, this mine is from like 2008, 2007 or so when it was introduced. It, it has the, is has the 500 gigabyte drive inside it. But now it's like, and it's like, we cost like, a, um, 400, 500 bucks. And now it's at a one terabyte drive or a two terabyte drive. So now let's look how this thing works with a, Little utility called Airport Utility. And I would like the utility that I'm to use is called Airport Utility. This software right here manages the time capsule right here. It's called TC Backup. I'll explain everything. So, the time capsule name, you know that. Version, airport ID, etc. Now, let's look at some settings. Manual setup. It'll read the configuration. Here's your, like I said, the status light below. It's normal. Whoops. Serial number, airport, Ethernet. You can okay. Here's what you, here here's where it gets fun. You can get wireless mode, wireless network, wireless security. So you got to make a network on this thing. Connect using Ethernet, etc. Your time capsule, where it's on the server, so you can like access it to, to get certain things off the drive. Time capsule password. You guys know that. Lost set over on Jor. You also look at options for status light as well. All that stuff. Wireless and create a wireless network. Participate in WS network. Extend a wireless network. So right there, like that. You can do radio mode, A to eleven N, A compatible, B G, stuff like that. Your wireless password, all the stuff you guys know. Transmit power for the internet. For your wireless network, access control, which will give you certain things, send access, so you can like, you know, limit certain machines on here. Next is internet, I mean Ethernet, Ethernet. Anyway, so you connect using Ethernet, etc. PPoE, you can bridge, you can so you can bridge this thing as well. Share a public IP address. You can that's your IP address. Don't need to do that. Printers. Like and you can also like connect your printer to this and extend it, make it a wireless printer as well. Disk, like I said, that free agent, GoFlex drive. This one I have connected to my computer. File sharing, you can enable file sharing, so like when you connect the drive or something, everybody else can see it, stuff like that. Read and write access, airport, you know that kind of stuff. Logging statistics, this will show you sync destination, SNMP, logging statistics, this is interesting. Wireless clients, this is all these things right here. These four, these are what's on your network, so you can see what is interfering in your network. <clears throat> Mobile me, back to my Mac, so you can like get back to your computer if you need it. If you're like anywhere in the world, IPv6. Um, that's I'm not sure what that is, but that's like a link all 
link local act, you know, make it act as a host or a tunnel. So that's airport utility. This is what you use to set up your time capsule. And all your devices will appear on this pane right here. So let's take a look at another, at another part. So the finder. And in here, you can see something called shared. That's our time capsule. And there, once again, here's the free agent GoFlex drive and the time capsule drive itself. So on here, wait for it to load. You got your computer drives for time machine, your drives that are backed up. And here's your network drive. It'll show up right over here. You have your other drives from your other machines. So you can, like I said, you can connect external drive and make it wireless. So anybody, any other users on the network can back up to this thing as well, both Windows and Mac. Like that, it's really helpful. And the cool thing about this is that you can connect, like, say you have a laptop and you can, like, use Time Machine to back up all your Macs onto this one time capsule. It's really cool. And this thing with the space, you can get this external drive and pretty much just archive all your data onto the external drive, and then make this drive format it and just, like, you know, Put on the new data from the from the machines onto that one drive to the time capsule. So you still have your old drive and the external drive. So, anyways, time time machine. Here's a time capsule. Like I said, your options. You guys know that. Select disk. So if you guys want to use your time machine to back up a time capsule, you just select, set up, set up time capsule. And you guys will this will open up your airport utility. You'll have to like set up everything, but it's really easy to use. It's very, really cool. And you, like I said, there's your other stuff. Free agent, GoFlex drive. And Time Machine, we'll go in this just for a second. Here's in Time Machine. I'm, at, I'm on Time Capsule right now. And you can back up all this stuff like usual. You know. But it takes a while because you get all this stuff on the on the drive. You know. So so time capsule is very helpful to have. If you guys have like multiple Macs, multiple computers, want to back up files, time capsule is the best way to go. Best way to go. New time capsule also has two antennas that allow to make a guest network and the first time council doesn't, but anyways. This has been Al King Hard here. Hope I explained enough for you guys in this video. Thanks for watching.